What's up guys, Nizo here. Today we're gonna be checking out Star Sound's 12400.4 4 channel amplifier. This is part and parcel of the Gladiator series of amplifiers. We did check out the Gladiator monoblock amplifier. This is one below that. It's actually the biggest four channel amplifier and we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing it. Let's get to it. Now for my favorite part of all reviews, which is the unboxing of the amplifiers. We can actually fly through it. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time. The front has some basic specs, tells you it's 2 ohm stable. Just note all four channels, 2 ohm stable in stereo mode. When you open it, it's got some hardware, spare fuses, screws, bass controller. The plugs will get to that short. When you open the amplifier, there's it's your standard wrapping you'll find a star sound sticker as is the case with all star sound products and the owner's manual is first page has system planning it gives you your different wiring options for the newbies who don't know how impedance works then it's basic installation manual uh, troubleshooting I don't see any power specs on it actual power rating itself got a nice design nice look to it uh, on the setting side channel 1 and 2 is exactly the same as channel 3 and 4 with the difference being that channel 3 and 4 has a remote input the amplifier can be used in two channel mode or four channel mode even three channel mode if need be is your low pass high pass gains and yeah that's pretty much it on the other side if you guys remember when we reviewed the gladiator monoblock amplifier there's a fan power it's got a positive and negative that plugs in and what's cool about this is it doesn't run all the time it only runs when it needs to so if the amplifier reaches a temperature of 50 degrees then it'll turn fans on speaker outputs use standard the uh, spade terminals you could even use the ones with the ring uh, spade terminals you get for the other side as well anyway uh, yeah this is the amplifier let's just dive straight into the installation of it i mounted the amplifier to the back of the rear seat it has steel uh, backing so i just used wall screws screwed it in before i did that i used masking tape measured out everything so that I could position the amplifier perfectly straight, both vertically and horizontally. The masking tape's pretty inexpensive, it just makes life so much easier. We use Starson wiring kit, um, it's the 4 gauge. We did try a different wiring kit, but we'll talk about that shortly. Uh, for now, yeah, we maybe we should just let's go through a full system breakdown so that I can show you exactly what's in here. The head unit is a Pioneer SPH C10 BT. This is the same model that we reviewed a few videos back. There's an OEM battery, the Starson 4 gauge wiring kit. There's a pair of coaxials in the front doors. The doors have no sound deadening. The baffle is 10 millimeter ABS plastic. That's it. Channel 1 and 2 of the 4 channel amplifier powers the coaxial speakers up front. Channel 3 and 4 is bridged on the 10 inch digital designs loaded enclosure. The enclosure has a SVC 250 watt subwoofer. That's about the system layout. Let's check out how it sounds.
before we get chatting about the way the system sounded I thought it's important that I take you through the two wiring packs that we used we tried out star sounds 8 gauge wiring kit and then later switched to the 4 gauge wiring kit there's a reason for this believe it or not but there was a big performance difference between these two wiring kits yes it's a four channel amplifier you may think ah oh, you know what i'll get away with a with an eight gauge wiring kit problem with the eight gauge wiring kit is it's not a hundred percent copper it's a cca kit so it doesn't give you the same amount of current as a hundred percent copper wiring pack would give you if you were to use a hundred percent copper wiring pack eight gauge sure you'll get away with it if not, I'd recommend you look at the 4 gauge wiring kit. This 4 channel isn't really a small amplifier. With the smaller Gladiator amplifier, you could get away with this. There is another uh, Gladiator amplifier that we're going to be reviewing after this. It's a smaller version of the 4 channel that you can get away with this wiring kit. But please do make sure that you use a good wiring kit because there was a substantial power difference between the two wiring kits. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about how the system sounded. The amplifier has, sorry for my language, but it's got some big balls to it. Um, it it's got serious power. It can get loud. Unfortunately, I couldn't do a recording where I show exactly how loud it is without it distorting because the microphone system that I use doesn't allow for very high volume. But at low volume, you can get how much detail there is in it. It's not an audio file system. Please don't ever think that it is an audio file amplifier. This is something basic you, you use as a starter pack option where you want a simple system that bangs and that's what this amplifier does the single 10 inch woofer on channel 3 and 4 guys have listened to it their comment was wow i thought this was a pair of entry level 12s or a single 12 inch like decent woofer mid-range woofer it, it packs some serious punch on the bass sides the vocals got crazy loud really really loud when using the pro audio speakers if you were to use this on say a whole system of just pro mids i promise you it's going to be crazy loud just set it up properly use the crossovers correctly the amplifier has nice crossovers use it you won't be disappointed for the money you spend on this amplifier i think it's a really good buy as always if you have any comments please let us know if you've used the amplifier give us your feedback we're going to be doing another review similar to this with the smaller version we're going to try out a different woofer thanks for watching we'll see you soon